Hey guys, AJ here. Uh, today we're going to talk about battery health. Now my batteries are actually getting a little sulfated up, and when they get sulfated up, I actually lose battery charge. So that kind of makes it a pain in the ass. Now the question is, what do you do when you have a pain in the ass? Aspirin. Okay, first thing we have to do is we have to take all these wires off. But I'm not going to sit there and make you guys watch this. I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, while you guys sit back and relax. Okay, now now that I got all the cells exposed, I don't know how well you can actually see in there. But if you can, you can see that I have been neglecting putting water into my cells. So they're pretty, pretty disgusting in there. But luckily... This simple trick right here can bring your batteries back to life. Now these are just little China Charlie batteries. They're um, 80 bucks at Rule King. Uh, they're not that good for solar systems, but they were a good starter system. So pretty much you just take an aspirin, you line it up with your cell, and you just plop it in like that. Well, it doesn't matter how many milligrams it is. I got 200 milligram. It doesn't matter if they're coated, if they're not coated, because you are putting in battery acid, remember. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this, because it's kind of hard to trick you to do with uh, holding the, the camera. And then I'll show you guys the next step. Oop. Okay, every cell has now have an aspirin in it. Just regular, ordinary aspirin. And actually, I was wrong. These are actually 325 milligrams. Okay, so, but it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're coated or not because, after all, you are putting it in battery acid. But the next step is, we got to add water. And for that, all you need is a funnel. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you guys this because I'm not going to be able to hold the camera at the same time, hold the funnel, and also hold a gallon of water. So, this is going to be kind of a boring part. Okay. Got all the caps back on. Everything's filled. All the cells have a droplet of as or a one pill of aspirin in them each. Now I just gotta hook all the wiring back in. Okay, we're back into the tiny house. Got the batteries all watered, all the aspirin added, got it done before it got dark out. Uh, so, uh, but yeah, hopefully I'll watch the batteries and see if they'll uh, come back to life. I'm hoping this year that uh, they'll last through the winter. And then uh, we're planning on moving to tiny house next spring. So when we move to tiny house, I'm really, uh, I'm hoping I can buy the Trojan big heat cycle batteries, the ones where uh, the cells are exposed real easy to get to the water system, and you can actually put a automatic watering system in where you just pretty much hook up a, a uh, water system to the batteries, pump water across them, and it waters the cells for you with a little check valve, shuts them off so you don't overfill them. So uh, yeah, I'm hoping to get that done next year, but uh, as for now, you know, just trying to make ends meet, trying to make the batteries last, and uh, like always, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.